Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for this video. This is going to be the hair tutorial for the Real Housewives of Orange County. If you've seen that show on Bravo, you know that um, these ladies are kind of flamboyant and I think it's kind of fun because they've got great hair, great makeup, um, but it definitely is not low maintenance stuff, okay? So um, you've got the volumized hair, which I have um, gotten the volume in there with some rollers and I've used different sizes to actually wind up with more curl the bottom and more volume at the top. So um, a very, very deep side part. This is inspired by Gretchen. Uh, she was in the Sophisticate Hairstyle Guide, which Carrie Underwood is on the cover of. Probably something from Carrie Underwood coming from me soon as well. But um, yeah, basically I recreated the hair look and um, as you know, did the, the makeup look as well. So if you want to see how this all comes together, keep on watching and hopefully I don't ramble too much and it's clear and easy to understand. All right, guys, I have just blow dried my hair and I also used a little bit of a volumizer in it. I used the uh, Generic Value Products Volumizing Root Lifter. It's the generic version of the Matrix Amplify um, volumizing root lifter. So um, that just will give me hopefully a little more oomph in my hair as I style it. Um, and one of the characteristics of this style, if you look at this picture here, um, you can see that they have a very, very deep side part. And so a lot of kind of side bangs coming over, a lot of lift at the roots, and of course, um, lots of curl, kind of a, a soft wavy curl, not really um, a super defined tight curl. So so that's sort of uh, what we're going to be working with here. So the first thing you want to do before you work with the rollers is to um, sort of part your hair. So what I'm going to do is go over here pretty far and it looks like it's not even, you know, super precise the way it is there on Gretchen's hair. It's just kind of like really pulled over far from this side. So just kind of decide what you want to work with in terms of your bangs. Um, for me, I think I'm going to go like that. So I've pulled all the way over to here, almost a diagonal that way, and now have some bangs going over here. And we will style those, but we are going to leave them out of the roller process specifically. And she mentions, Gretchen says that she uses hot rollers, which is definitely an option here uh, if you enjoy those. Um, for me, I think sometimes it's kind of hard to keep from getting a dent in your hair with hot rollers so I like using velcro rollers and my strategy to get a wave that will actually stay in your hair is using a smaller curling iron I'm using this one from Revlon which is um, gosh I don't even know the exact size of this but I believe it might be a three-quarter uh, inch curling iron there so very small curling iron and then using some of these goody um, Velcro rollers which are available at Walmart and they come in a variety of sizes. Um, we're going to be using larger at the top and smaller towards the bottom to hold the curl. So just to get you started on that, basically decide kind of where your bangs are <laughs> and pull a section up right behind that in kind of the middle of the top of your head. So this would be your crown area I suppose and just pull up a small section of hair there and we're going to put one of the bigger rollers this size, this is the biggest I have, um, under that. So just go ahead and take your curling iron, roll that up and uh, let it sit there and it will sit for a good, you know, 15 to 20 minutes. I have some different layers in my hair here so I've kind of like taken the longest layer, got that in there, then I go back and kind of pick up the shorter layers. It's kind of a pain when you do have layered hair, but the effect in the end will be nice. So just kind of get it all rolled up there, get a curl in it, and the heat is what you really want to play off of. So while that's hot, get it going around that roller and just roll it down. A lot of times um, your hair will stay in these rollers, but I like to use these clips. Uh, I believe my mom who was in, <laughs> uh, who used to be a cosmetologist calls these yoettes. And so I'm just gonna turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just clipping it in. Gotta see the mirror here. Clipping it in on the bottom and securing that. And then I will spray it with hairspray while it sits here. It'll also help hold the hair in there. But that's kind of our top curl. And so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is put a few back behind. I'm going to go probably this size right behind it, one size smaller, one size smaller, and then to the smallest 
down the back of the middle of my head and I will join you when I get that done. Alright guys, I have put my rollers now on down the side of my head. Hopefully you can see here. I've got my largest at the top because that's where we kind of want the big volume. So, and, and we've pulled it up right from the roots. So it's going straight up from our roots. That's what gives you lift there. And also spraying it after you do that helps lock that in. If the roller was hanging down like this, and it's just hanging and there's all that, you would not get any lift from the roots. That's the benefit of rollers. So make sure you're getting that and you're not, you know, selling yourself short on that fact. But we've got large at the top going down to smaller here towards the bottom. And basically we get the tighter curl towards the bottom on, on that. So we're getting the length of our hair is getting curled more and the top is getting more lift. Um, it might puzzle you a little bit the fact that I'm using such a small curling iron and putting it on larger rollers. But I did a whole video about this, how it actually creates... Um, it helps your curl last longer and be stronger. <laughs> Even though I'm going to take this out and it's going to be a bigger curl, it's going to give you more concentrated heat. It's going to be wrapping around this tight curling iron and it's going to just really have a better impact. So that's my little tip on getting a longer lasting, stronger holding curl. Now for the sides of our hair, as you can see, we've got two different sides here because we've got the, all these bangs and we've got this side that's fairly normal. This side is going to be fairly easy. I'm going to go through that first. Um, basically what I'm going to do is kind of go, go back basically most of the length of that part, pull out some hair here, and this isn't going to necessarily be your typical um, roller that I'm going to put in here. I'm going to be putting it in vertically, and that's what's going to give us that nice look where the curl is kind of swept back from our face a little bit. Um, it's definitely a current look. It's the current, you know, way to do rollers, I would say. Oops, kind of missed that there. <laughs> but I'm curling it away from my face. That's another thing. On the opposite side, we're going to be curling it back that way. Here, we were just curling it, you know, as we usually would, back. So hold it there for a little bit. And then I think I'm going to use, I'm going to go with a medium-sized roller with this. That would be my, the yellow in my set. So that size roller like that. So take this out, and this is what I mean by putting it in vertically, like this. And this is going to come out more like, like you know how you would wrap your curl all the way around the length of the curling iron, and you would pull it down that way, and you've got this curl that's going like spirally. That's sort of what we're working with there. It's going to be spiral, and it's going to be back from our face. So go ahead, and now that you've done that, spritz. And then the ones following that, I don't want any sort of bump on this, but the, the ones behind it, it won't matter so much. So I will probably use these clips on that. I'm going to go probably one more behind it, another one, and then I will do the same thing underneath with smaller. So I'm going to go yellow and yellow up top, and then probably a couple of red ones, which are this size in comparison. Uh, <laughs> don't know if that mattered. Um, but I'm going to put those on the bottom, and then I will show you this side. Alright guys, this side is done. As I mentioned, I was I went with yellow, yellow, and yellow. Uh, the medium sized roller right here across the top, keeping them vertical. Um, and then I have another vertical red one, slightly smaller, down here. And two more back behind it, which I don't really know how those turned out. I got one that I think is straight up and down, and then the other one is just kind of in there. It really does not have to be perfect, and I want to make sure you know that you don't necessarily have to do this every time to get a similar look to what we're doing. I just wanted to show you for this for the purpose of this tutorial how to do it all out and then sometimes like if I'm in a hurry for work or something and I'll do this style I'll get one up here one behind it and then just kind of maybe get one on the side take the rest and either curl it quickly without putting it in a roller or just curling it in bigger chunks and putting like one or two extra rollers down here not all of these so you know, there's a lot of variations on this don't feel like you have to you know take a lot of time and you'll actually find if you do this a lot you get kind of fast with it so um, anyway, moving on to this side, we've got this big swath of bangs here, like this. I want to leave those out, and I'm actually going to curl those with the curling iron without a roller at the end. So, wait for that. Um, I'm going to take what's behind it, however, and do the exact same thing I did on this side. It's going to be large yellow rollers at the top. Actually, they're not my largest. They're the medium size, 
and then um, along the bottom will be a few more red ones. So like I said, just going to hold it there for a second, pop in a yellow one, and I'll join you when I'm done. All right, everyone, my whole head is wrapped in rollers now. Um, I just finished my left side, and that is one, two, three up top, a couple red ones on the bottom. And um, like I said, this is all, you know, your hair. You may require more or less rollers, whatever you choose. Now we've got this big chunk of, for me, straight hair right here, uh, bangs that are kind of layered and pulled over. And so what I'm going to do is just sort of lightly run my curling iron through that. We just want them to kind of gently curve back. I don't want these to be, come out in a tight curl from a roller. And even though I have big rollers, I just kind of like to curl these, keep them kind of loose and straight so that I can then manipulate them, you know, once I uh, get ready to style this. So we're going to let these sit for, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes, I'd say would be fine. And then I will join you with how to take them out and get it all styled. All right, guys, the hair has just freshly been taken out of the rollers. Haven't done a thing to it since taking them out. I didn't figure you needed a tutorial on how to take the rollers out. Um, that's kind of the fun and easy part. But anyway, I wanted to show you something, though. See how this section of hair is lifted like that right from the roots? That's exactly what should be happening here. That was a big roller that we had. We put the spray on it, we put it on there hot, and it's got a nice little natural wave to it because it was a big roller, but it is giving us that volume at the roots. And we're getting that all over, except I should have worn a different colored shirt to really show you what's going on here, but the, the hair that is here at the bottom is in a little bit more of a tighter curl though. So anyway, what I would do now after taking them out is to really just brush through everything lightly just to kind of blend the curls a little bit and get things looking a little more natural sometimes when there's hairspray on there you run into little chunks of that that you weren't expecting just kind of feel around and make sure everything is brushed out then what you may want to do is tip your head over and actually spray some hairspray what I've been using the entire time is tre the Tresemme uh, Tray 2 or Tress 2 uh, hairspray, the big can available like everywhere. So I'm going to tip my head over and just spray some hairspray on the basically the bulk of the length of my hair. I'll spray the underside so when you flip it up, I sprayed right back here. So now I've got a lot of volume and I'm going to spritz it all over once again. Tussle it around, kind of get the volume, the life back in there. It's out of the rollers and now it is free. So um, now in terms of styling, like I said, there's a very deep part going on on this look and really a lot of the ladies looks have sort of that side parted, swooped over bangs look here. So what we're going to do is try to keep with that. So I'm going to try to keep that hair going over. I do want lift here in the crown. And I can see that she has that as well. There's not a ton, but it is there. So I'm going to lift up basically this hair that we put over that top roller. And I'm going to spray it right behind it. Spray the back. Okay, and then I'm going to take a rat tail comb or this kind of fine toothed comb. And I'm going to just tease it right near the roots. I'm not going to go more than maybe five inches up on this and just tease it and then when you bring it down the fact that you've sprayed it is helping it kind of lay like that. I'm going to spritz that and then I'm going to tease right over here. So the other side, here's our part, I'm teasing this side. So pull some of that up, spray the back and grab your comb and just kind of tease that a bit just like so. And then we're going to get this going up a little bit too. This is our part. This is mostly our bangs, but some of this was in a roller too. And tease that up a little. Okay. <laughs> so everything has been volumized just a little bit. One final spritz over it, all that. And then I'm going to take one of these combs, or combs, pins. It's like hair pin. These are available at Sally's. You can get like a ton of them in a package. And these are the best way, I think, to tame down any teasing that you've done. So basically, we're going to tune it down. 
and I'm just kind of smoothing it out bringing it back to earth a little bit I know you guys might have gotten a little scared there for a second thinking I was gonna leave it but I wasn't <laughs> um, kind of pull what was on that part gonna kind of pull that over here the way, as far as the curl, when you've teased it and you've got that curl, you do want to make sure you really go over, just kind of in this method, the ends of your layers, just to make sure that those curls still look like curls and don't look like a, a rat's nest after that teasing we did. Now, this is where you can kind of do what you want, shape it how you want it. I've got a, kind of got this coming down here, I'm sort of referring back to the picture. Um, you can see also what's happening with the fact that we rolled the rollers back. We've got those waves coming back from our face. And I've kind of got this sweeping back right there. So you can spray over this. In fact, I would recommend that. And also kind of look at the back of your hair in a mirror. See what's going on there. And be, always be aware of what happened in the back uh, while you're dealing with all this styling in the front. So I'm going to give a spritz of spray right there. You kind of shape that after you spray it, spray all over there, and spray your ends real, just for a light touch. And this is basically their look, you know, you've got that real deep part, you've got the curls going on in the back as a result of rollers, and it's a pretty fun look. So thank you guys so much for tuning in for this video to see how to get that big volumized hair that you see the girls have on um, the... Uh, girls. I say girls. They're women on the Real Housewives of Orange County. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. And thanks for watching. All right, everyone. My whole head is in rollers. <laughs>